Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Armored Core Nexus. I am your pilot and tech adept, Yeager Bishop. And today, <coughs> we will be taking on Genobi in his little side mission. You do actually get a part reward for beating him in this little uh, test exercise versus AC. It's not a very big reward, but... Hey, I'm not exactly going to pass up free rewards for doing a good job on something. We are going up against them in our Warhound. I'm ready. You think so? Okay. Which basically means we're just going to... Hopefully, anyway. Ow! That hurts. This guy's got a lot of alpha damage, and... Unfortunately, he also has... All of the uh, special perks that normally off intensify would give you, or human plus, actually. It was just a simple adjustment. What happened? Genovi, the corporation needs you in one piece. Don't overextend yourself. That's all for today. We appreciate your assistance. Yeah, I bet you do. Screw you. Basically, this is another one of those um, things where, uh, what's it? The game? The game designers themselves from software? They realize that their AI is crap. So, they, instead of actually fixing the problems, they took a shortcut and just handicapped you while giving all their AIs all the advantages that they could. Which, honestly, okay. So, uh, uh, this one's actually going to be difficult. Uh, let's see, shop. Um, I'm actually gonna buy, let's see, I think I'll buy a radar, to be honest. Yeah, I'll buy a radar. Uh, what's this for CCM? Yeah. I mean, this radar is exceptional. It doesn't have a missile sensor though, which is weird. Oh well, I can always compensate for that. This will add the missile display function, so it won't really matter. Uh, this will actually need to be a thing that we do. And let's see. Also, one other thing I want to do is buy this. 
credits. Unfortunately, I don't have enough credits. Uh, I mean, this is a good core. That's a problem. Um, let's see. Let's try and sell that part that we got. Ah, there we are. Uh, yep, this thing. Goodbye. buy ourselves this core because it is awesome. Okay. So basically what's gonna happen is since they're very short MTs, basically, um, that we're gonna be going up against. I'm actually going to switch out the one cannon for a blade here. Boom! <coughs> and also, uh, running with this. Now, instead, we're going to put this radar and this rocket launcher. these. Now, its first ECM performance is through the roof. Actually, uh, we'll ditch cooling for a sec and go with that instead. See his performance. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Um, can this? I I forget. Yes, it actually can be equipped as a. Uh, I can. Okay, well, and that's what we'll do. Okay, this is our Reaver Titan, by the way. Basically, what's going to happen <coughs> is this will be our Reaver Titan's test trial by fire. Now, is this design, like, it, can it officially be called worthy? Is the question. Destroy all the transfer pipes. Like, is it worthy? Now, that's pretty freaking crazy. But even as high as the East versus ECM level is on this thing, that this is still happening. ECM level is so high that we don't even need to destroy all these other ones, but, you know, posterity's sake, I guess, whatever. Actually, 
I shouldn't use that word because I'm not exactly what it was. Anyway, um, we'll just use it. We'll do it for the hell of it. actually liking this machine a lot right now. I mean, it might be just because I've equipped it very well and it's doing very well in this situation, but that's the idea behind the Reaver in this case, is it's a medium-sized, multi-mission capable machine. It just, it just does that. Seriously, it's a Gatling gun for crying out loud. Can somebody tell me why a Gatling gun, of all things, of all things has freaking clip size. Okay. Yeah, you need to go. Yes, you could say that it was just because it was properly equipped, and it did so well. And you know what? You might be right. It was as it was equipped as well as it possibly could be. Because terrorist employed Raven infiltrated power plant and left nothing but the devastation in their wake. <coughs> well, you're a terrorist, so there's a good reason to treat you with disdain. I'm just going to say that. Anyway. So, yes. Um, comment in the, uh, comment section, obviously. What do you think the name for a Reaver, or I should say our Reaver, should be? Keep in mind that the design is going to keep changing, depending on the missions we're going to be taking on. Because, honestly, that's the idea. That this thing will keep changing with the times. The Warhound is pretty much going to stay the same throughout the whole campaign. Maybe its legs will get upgraded at some point. Maybe I'll upgrade its legs, maybe its missile launcher. But other than that, it's pretty much going to stay the same. Speaking of 
changing. Uh, actually, no, no, that's fine. Um, no, that's closer to what the warlord will have. Okay. Hell, I might even get these. Uh, let's see. Actually, could I get some improved uh, reverse joint legs for the machine? Yes, yes, I could. But I don't know if they're more. carry more than my current setup can. Okay. Uh, 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 Actually, those can, and so can these. Although these have much better cooling, which is a definite something that this machine needs. So we're actually going to upgrade, and we're going to also sell off the old pair. sure what else to do with this machine, other than maybe give it a machine, instead of one machine gun, the machine gun arms, maybe make it one machine gun, one flamethrower, I'm not sure, but for the most part, I'm pretty sure this thing's going to stay the same. it up in its base design here, just so you get a hint of what's gonna, what it's basically gonna be. Actually, I'll keep that. actually supposed to end up as a uh, orbit cannon pod launcher. <coughs> and this is supposed to actually be a different missile launcher. But it'll have to be this one for now. Or, unless I have enough money. Hold up. Supposed to be. Yes, I have enough. Obviously, the idea is to bury an opponent in a torrent of missiles. Which the Goth pattern of uh, Reaper is actually very good at is burying an enemy in long range fire. Uh, 
Uh, so yeah. This, more or less, is going to be what it looks like going forward. A machine with lots of different types of firepower, both direct and indirect, like missiles and stuff like that. It will change depending on the... Uh, situation, obviously. Obviously the situations will differ between uh, mission to mission. Battle to battle, AC to fight, AC fight. Unless, of course, certain ACs, this machine's deemed not. Just the nature of this machine being so multi-role is deemed not suitable. In which case, either the Warhound, or the uh, other machine that which is going to be coming up, which is the Warlord. Yes, there will be a Warlord. But... That's still a ways away off, because we need to be able to buy, like, the really high-powered weapons, and I'm not even sure if it's going to be a bipedal AC. I'm thinking because of the nature of the Warlord's capabilities, it's not going to be bipedal. Instead, it's going to be probably a tank. I don't know. But, in any case, let me know what you think uh, in the comments. What should the Reaver's name be? Because this machine's already named the Raptor. So, what would you name a uh, Reaver type? As usual, I have been Jaeger Bishop. Tech Ad FM Pilot. This is our record Nexus. <clears throat> Please do feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It does help out the channel. Click the bell for notifications if you want to see more content from my channel. And of course, if you would like to see me produce better videos, PayPal in the, is in the link in the description. Every dollar goes towards new equipment, trust me. <laughs> anyway, I thank you all for watching, and I will see you again in the next video. Take care, good luck, and goodbye.